friends i am a traveler i travel all over our great country when i have vacations do you also travel to different places in our country do you know our great country has an amazing history various aspects of our country like different religions regions cultures languages and many other factors have helped india become a great country and i am proud to say that there is unity in diversity indian art and architecture has evolved and always reflected the times of the respective periods and conveyed information of the lives of people during different ages various monuments from the earlier days like the taj mahal india gate falaknuma palace omaid bhavan palace etc have a story to tell come let us meet ram and shyam who are the natives of madhya pradesh and are on a visit to their uncle's house at hyderabad all three are visiting the world famous golconda fort which is situated in hyderabad and are amazed at the marvel of the fort the objective of this video is to understand golconda fort and understand the various aspects of the fort What a beautiful fort and how big is it I wonder how people would have lived here See there are two floors in this fort when was this built were there two story buildings during that time This was built in the year 1200 with mud initially and later on developed to become a house for different rulers. They made a lot of modifications to the fort. Uncle, I am surprised at the thought of the number of people who would have constructed this. Look at the strong walls of the fort. Yes, indeed. Are you aware that this fort has served as a home to various rulers of Hyderabad? They made such a strong fort to protect themselves from the attacks of the enemies. If you notice, there are thick walls, strong gates with spikes and several bastions to protect themselves against the enemy. Bastions? What are these, uncle? See Can you see the semicircular constructions on the fort's boundary walls? Yes, I can see this. There are a few holes to each to every bastion there. Yes, those are the bastions. They are 87 of them. These bastions were used for security purposes and these gates with spikes were to prevent elephants from entering. Really? Yes, this fort is such a big one. The main door, its walls and bastions made it difficult even for the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb to enter the fort. It is said that it took him nearly 9 months to enter such a big fort with his army. 9 months? Isn't it a long time? And how did the people survive an attack for so long? Indeed, that is the marvel of the fort. And the entry was not because of Aurangzeb's army, but because a military official from the Kuli Qutub Shah dynasty, which ruled Golconda, had cheated. Did he open the gates and allow Aurangzeb's army? Was he paid money by Aurangzeb to enter the fort? 
<laughs> yes, he opened the gates for the Mughal army to enter. Whether he was paid money is a guess. Was currency like our rupees during those days? Yes, there was coinage and currency during that time and it was there from ancient times in India. Yes, I remember reading about bronze and silver coins during ancient times. Yes, you are right. There was coinage since ancient times and coins used to have several inscriptions like bulls, horses, gods, goddesses. Arabic writings etc over different periods of history of our great country Children can you tell what metals our modern day coins are made of can you make a list of the currencies of the important countries We, we are gaining so, so much, much of, of knowledge, knowledge. Where, where shall we go, we go next Come let us go inside the fort and see what else we will discover. In this video, you learnt about formidable structure of the Golconda fort. In the next video, 